Okay, let me turn it around a little bit for you, Ambassador Taylor. You, you've you used uh, so far today uh, the phrase winning the war more than I expected. Um, uh, and I know that is an increasing view uh, among many and probably in Ukraine. Do you think that is the view inside the Biden administration, that this war can be won, uh, capital W? I do. I do, Mike. I think they, I've, I've heard officials say this. I've heard uh, Biden administ uh, administration people say win, victory. Um, and then the question is, OK, what is victory? What is winning? Right. It's very simple. The Ukrainians, it's, it's very simple. The Ukrainians, they want the Russians out of their country. That's a win. That's a victory. Now, it doesn't have to happen immediately. Some of it is going to happen immediately. Some of it is going to be military pushing the Russians out. Some, however, is going to take longer, and it might even be diplomatically. Um, if the military goes well, if, the, if this counteroffensive or offensive goes well, and they push way back, push the Russians way back out, um, that could set the stage for some kind of a conversation. And that, that conversation, that diplomacy, could, could get the rest of the Russians out of their country. So uh, this could happen, A, over time. It could happen militarily. Um, quickly, um, and then B, diplomatically, or taking a little more time. So that's what winning is. Winning, is, the basic concept is, is simple, and that is all the Russians out of Ukraine. And that that's goes back to what something Mike said earlier about, about territorial integrity, about UN principles, about sovereignty. Um, you want the Russians out of the country. You don't, you don't want there to be a violation, an acceptance of a violation of territorial integrity or sovereignty, you want them out of the country. That's winning. And yes, I think the administration is there.